by the end of this video, you will be able to change the note size of the music that you're working on in MuseScore Studio. Let's get started. So there may be times that you're working in MuseScore that you want to change the note size. I'm currently working with MuseScore Studio version 4.5, and you can change the note size several different ways. The first way that you can change the note size of the music that you're working on is to go up to the left-hand side of the screen and then click on Format and then click on Page Settings. This will bring up the Page Settings dialog box, and there are several options here, but the main one that you want to focus on for changing the note sizing is this one here called Scaling near the middle. So you can see it has the staff space set at a certain distance. So I'm going to increase this and you're going to see it's going to change the note size. So if I want to make the note size bigger, I'm going to press the up icon here. So you can see the notes are getting larger. If I'd like the note to be smaller, then I would click on the uh, lower part of this here. So it'll get smaller. I think you can also use your arrow keys on your keyboard. So while I have that selected, I can do the arrow keys as well. You could also just input how many inches you would like them to be as well. So that's looking pretty good. Once you're happy with what you see, you can press OK. So that's one way that you can change the note size for the entire score that you're working with. Let's say you're working with a certain measure and the spacing's not quite working out the way you want it to. In order to change the note size of a measure, what you can do is select on that measure. And to select a measure, make sure you're in selector mode and then left click in the middle of the measure. It will turn uh, blue or have a blue box around it. And what you're gonna wanna do is hold shift on your keyboard and press the right or left bracket. So if I press the right bracket while I hold shift, you can see it extends that measure. So I click that three times. If I want it to go smaller, then I can go to the left. Now the notes themselves aren't getting larger or smaller, you noticed, but the space is getting larger. So it makes it feel like the notes are getting larger or smaller. So let's say I'd like that. And then you can do this with every measure, or if you wanna select multiple measures, you can click on one measure, hold shift, and then let's say I want to go to that measure. Again, you're going to hold shift and press the right bracket. And again, it will increase the size for all of those measures. So those are the easiest ways to increase or decrease the size of the notes for your score. Uh, you can also use other formatting options. And the one I want to share with you now is if you go up to the left hand side of your screen again, and then click on format, and then click on style this time. When you're in style, you want to look for the option for page. So you can see I'm in page there. So I clicked on page and right here where it says enable vertical justification or disable vert vertical justification. So what I want is I want my staves to be a little closer together. So you notice how far apart they are. So if I click on disable now that that bottom stave is closer, you noticed, and then you can change all of these, uh, you know, settings to see what happens. You know, if you just go in here and say press zero for the staff distance, you'll see what happens with staff distance. Uh, let's say grand staff, this one's going to be between the treble and the bass clef. I press enter. And so you can see what each one of those does. The max distance between staves, uh, let's go and press zero there. And you can see the staves now are much closer together. Actually, let me press zero instead of eight. There we go. Actually, 8.5 is as close as it can get. And then if you need to reset any of these, you can just uh, left click on these resets and it will reset them to the default distances. So you now know how to change the note size of the music that you're working on in MuseScore 4.5. If you made it this far into the video, you most likely want to get the most out of using MuseScore Studio. I made a complete beginner's guide showing you A to Z how to get started with the software. I'll put a link to that video here.